Hello everyone! So I am here with that makeup tutorial that I promised you. A lot of you have been asking me about my current makeup routine because you like it. And well dang, I'm just flattered so I would love to show you how I do it. It's just basically a mix of some neutrals and pinks on the eyes and then a bright berry lip. So here we go! Let's get started! I'm just gonna show you how it's done. And I know my skin is not looking the best right now. You know, I just had my finals and everything, and hormones, and you know what? You have the power of makeup, so you can just turn this all around with distractions and cover-ups, and just turn that frown upside down in general, overall. So I have washed my face and primed it with my Hourglass Primer, and now I am just going in with this Maybelline Age Rewind. I had a sequin on my lip, I don't understand my life. Uh, I will put more concise names of the products in the description below if you're curious, but I am just using this on my under eyes, just kind of slathering it on there wherever I feel like it, I guess. And then I'm going in with this NARS concealer that, yeah, it's really overpriced, but I really like it, so I don't know if I can tell you whether or not to buy it or not. Totally up to you. But I'm just using it on my pimples and dark spots and basically all of my face because I'm just not happy right now with my skin and so I'm just dotting that on wherever I feel like I need it and then dabbing it in to blend it all out and I tend to do that and let the under eye concealer set and then blend that out because it just blends better once it's dried a little bit but there you go looking a lot better with those things concealed especially because this Tarte foundation doesn't exactly do the best at covering up really bad imperfections. So, that's way too much. Don't use that much of this foundation. It'll end up looking really cakey on you. So, just don't worry. You can tap it all off and things will be better. So, you just buff this into your skin and it really does provide a nice natural looking finish to the skin. It doesn't have the highest coverage like I said, so you do need a concealer if you've got some darker spots and whatnot to cover up like I do. But overall, I do think it's a good foundation. It's not perfect. It's definitely not sweat proof, so if you're sweaty like me, you might run into some problems with it. Kind of uh, slurping off, falling off, melting off throughout the day. I don't know the proper word to use for that, but you can see it gives a really nice natural finish and I do really like it overall. So now that we've got our skin looking much better, it's time for this beautiful bronzer. Oh, you guys, I'm so sorry that it was limited edition because this thing is perfection if you are a pale girl like me. This is the MAC Extra Dimension Bronzer in Aphrodite Shell and it is just the perfect kind of rosy toned brown tan color. Oh, I just love it. And then I'm taking my Eco Tools brush, this really fluffy bronzer brush, getting all the cat hair off of it, and then just dipping it into the bronzer and rubbing it down my cheekbones and underneath the jawline to make it look like I don't stuff my face with emotions as often as I do. See how much it makes my face look better? So sad. So pretty. Sad. But don't worry will make it pretty. So, I'm just gonna go in and do the same thing to the other side of my face, and then we are moving on to the blush. I just reviewed this blush, and you guys, I really, really like it. It's one of the Tarte Cheek Stains, and oh, I have to smell it every time I put it on because it smells so nice. It's like that kind of a light vanilla citrus kind of a smell. And I just put a small streak down the tops of my cheekbones and then I dab and blend it out with my finger. And I think it just provides a really nice natural flush. You see that? And it is named Flush, so maybe, you know, that's probably exactly what they were going for. So good job, Tarte. You did what you set out to do. And just because I like a little bit of extra luminance with to my, is that words? Um, I like to use a luminizer as well because I just, I've said it before, but I like kind of that fairy glow and I love the kind of ethereal luminescence that this provides to the tops of the cheekbones. It's kind of hard to pick up on camera, but you can kind of see that it does give a really nice 
reflection. You know, I don't know. Maybe I'm the only one that notices. But you know what? I'm wearing my makeup for me. So that's all that matters. So now we're going into the eyes. I'm gonna be priming my eyes with my favorite eye primer. This stuff is perfection, at least for me. It makes my eyeshadow stay all day, no creasing, just beautiful. It's from the balm and I love it and I highly recommend it if you have not tried it or found your favorite eye primer quite yet. And now that the eyes are primed, we are ready to go in with our colored products. I am using this Maybelline Color Tattoo, which I am so sorry that it was also limited edition, but it's really nice. You can kind of see it's pretty natural, and I just really like it as a base for lots of different eyeshadow looks. I think Max Painterly is supposed to be a quote-unquote dupe for this, except it's the expensive version of the dupe. So, you know, the Maybelline one was actually the dupe, but you can go out and get painterly since that was not a limited edition product if you're looking for a color like this and then I am just gonna go in with basically any of these and all of these colors for the eyeshadows I am using my elf studio eyeshadow brush it's just a really nice dense thick brush that's really good for getting all over the lid colors on and I am using Stila's shell for this you can see it's not a lot of eyeshadow but it's like that really nice kind of a shimmer base I don't know it just gives the Maybelline color tattoo a little something special I think and then I'm going in with the elf studio contour brush which is arguably one of my favorite brushes that elf has ever made it's just a really nice kind of dense fluffy domed brush that works really well for the crease and I'm just dipping that into a color that was from a Revlon eyeshadow quad called addictive I don't recommend it but I have it and I really like this color because it's really not that pigmented so so it's really nice to use in the contour if you're looking for a nice subtle contour color but it's basically just kind of a gray taupe color you can find this basically anywhere it's just what I had so I just put the concentration of it on the outer corner and then dragged it into the crease and now I'm going in with this elf all over eyeshadow brush whatever it's called it's really kind of a thinner flat brush and yep there was a hair on it ignore it ignore it I took care of it and look at slow-mo you guys I am dabbing one, two, one, two, so lightly into this other Stila eyeshadow called Pigale. I don't know how to pronounce it, you guys, I'm sorry. But it's a really nice purple color, but it's really pigmented. So I'm just going in very lightly and putting that over the outer half of my eyelid. And it just really warms up the eye color. It gives it that nice purple kind of a color. I just really like the way that it looks. And then I'm going in with this concealer brush from e.l.f. It's really flat and really dense and I like to use it for my upper eye color that I usually go in with. It's something that I don't do every day, but I like to do it if I want my look to look a bit more polished. See, because I'm just using a color that's basically my skin color. It's uh, the Bombshell, I think, Cosmetics in Birthday Suit. And yeah, you can basically just use whatever color that's your skin. And then I'm just going in with a small brush from e.l.f. And I'm dipping that into a Motives color called Champagne Pink, I believe. And then also a really shimmery, glittery color from a Sonia Kashuk palette that I hate. But I loved this one eyeshadow because it's so reflexive and just glittery and pretty. And I use it on the inner corners. And then I dab with my finger to simultaneously get the eye boogies out of my eyes. And also blend that out. And look at the twinkle you got. You look so pretty. If I do say so myself, so. So next, I'm just going in with a angled brush. I use one of these two colors. It's whatever I'm feeling that day. This day, I was feeling the Bobbi Brown. I forget. It's a brown color. Like I said, I'll put the names of these things in the description box for you. And I'm just using this to really lightly outline the outer half of my lash line because you can see the mascaras in the next few shots that I'm using are a little messy. So this just kind of will conceal that. And it also just helps to make your eyelashes look a bit thicker. 
So at the moment, I'm using these two mascaras. I really don't love them, but you know, it's what I have, it's what I'm using, it's whatever. So first off, I go in with this buxom one, and I told you in my best and worst that this was really hard to get out of the freaking tube. But there you go, accomplishments. It's the little things, you guys. So I'm just taking this and I am putting it on my bottom lash line. I always do that first, and then I go in and put it on my top lashes. And you can just see, this is what it looks like. It's pretty natural looking, but I like to kind of amp it up. So I'm going in with this Blink Mascara. And this is the one that's quite messy. And you'll be able to see in a second after I do this, see how that gets onto my lid. And I'm too lazy to use lash cards or anything, you guys. Please don't blame me. So I just, I use the eyeshadow on my lash line, like said, to conceal that. And there you can see the difference between the Blink and the Buxom mascara. You see? They're different looks. The Blink just kind of amps up the Buxom a little bit. So that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm kind of excited for these mascaras to be done, but it's whatever. Just use whatever your favorite mascara is. It's really no big deal. I'm just using what I have. So, moving on to the brows, my favorite part. I feel even more naked without my brows on than I do without a bra on, so that says a lot. So, I'm going in with my NYX eyebrow marker, and all I'm doing with this is filling in the sparser parts on the bottom of my brows, and then also just drawing a general line on the bottom contour of my brows. I just, I like doing that. I feel like it looks a bit more polished, but not like super polished. Anyways, it preps for the brow powders, which yes, my little kit is disgusting. I admit it, but you know what? It's old, but it still works. So I just make my mix of brown that works for my hair color, and I just start in the sparser parts of my brows, and then I continue dragging that color throughout the rest of it. So you can see, it just looks really natural. I'm not trying to look super contoured and perfect here, but it makes a huge difference to fill in your brows, you guys. So I am just gonna go in and do the same thing to my other brow. You know, they don't have to be twins. They are just sisters. Heck, your brows can be cousins, really, as so long as they're at least the same gender so then you just want to go in and use a wax or a gel I'm personally a wax girl so I'm just using my Anastasia brow fix and rubbing that lightly across all of my brow and then I'm going in with a it was just a spoolie from a mascara that I had a long time ago and I just washed it off and now I use it to groom my brows so I just like to go up and then out and I think that looks the most natural and they're not gonna go anywhere all day so that's great too and that's the eye look it's all finished I think it's quite nice it's fairly natural but just enough color to look like you put in effort but oh my gosh what's missing the lips come on you guys it's me of course I'm gonna wear a lipstick and this one, oh, it's so good. I mean, this is a permanent color in the collection, but they came out with the heirloom mix or whatever winter collection where they made sparkly glittery packaging. So I decided to get Rebel in this one because I don't know why you guys, I waited so long to get Rebel in my life, but I mean, I'm kind of happy I waited because now I have it in the glitter packaging, but Rebel overall is just such a beautiful, lipstick I've been wearing it basically non-stop this month and yes flicking off the nasty people that watch my videos uh, basically it's just the finger trick to get the lipstick off of your lips and so that it doesn't go onto your teeth throughout the day and as I say if you're fluffing your hair you know you know you're looking good <laughs> so the makeup is done this is the look I hope you guys enjoy it and you can do it too now you don't have to use the same products as me but now this you know you know the basic gist of things so I hope this was helpful I hope it was everything you were looking for it's just a nice neutral plummy purple look for the winter or heck any time of the year really I just think during the winter purples look extra fresh and pretty but anyways I hope you guys are all doing well and until next time just stay well until then Bye!